Hi YouTube, it's me Fran, and I'm back on just about to do my favorite. Um, so here we go, let's start. First of all, um, this first thing is something that I found one day. Um, I don't know if I was in a beauty supply store or if I was in a hair a beauty supply store or just like a regular, you know, retail store. I'm not sure, but I found this product. It's the coconut and papaya soap with vanilla beans in it by Nubian Heritage. And when I tell you I freaking love this soap. It's all natural. It's all natural. Um, it says that this nourishing coconut oil soap made with rich, rich tropical ingredients, high in vitamins, minerals, and fatty acids. Um, help to improve skin tone. The vanilla beans gently buff skin as papaya gently um, exfoliate and help renew. It also has shea butter in here. When I tell you this is freaking awesome, um, one of my other subbies had put something up on her page about a um, Nubian Heritage product for hair. And I had already had this. I've been using this for about a month or two, and when I tell you it has made my skin change dramatically, like, I love it. And I believe this is only maybe a dollar at the most, too. I love it, love it, love it. And the soap itself is, you know, white, and then there are these brown vanilla beans that you can actually see small, small flakes of, and when you run it across your skin, you can feel the vanilla beans in it. So that's exfoliating it. But I love it. I used to have a lot of dark marks around here. And I used to have some dark marks on my chest. And they are all gone. I used it on my face. If I wear makeup, I put it on my face. So, yeah. You have to go get this soap. Coconut and Papaya Soap by Nubian Heritage. It is freaking awesome. So on to the next one. This is something that, you know, everybody has basically seen. But um, this is my favorite. My favorite of all time. And it's the 100% coconut oil. And I just love this stuff. As you can see, if you can see, it was $2.99. But I love this stuff because I use it on my hair or I use it on my skin. If I get out of the shower and I don't want to use anything heavy, I just grab this. And, of course, it smells good. And it's starting to liquefy now. But it's almost gone. I need some more. I'm going to get some more. But, um, yeah, I love this stuff. If I'm going, if I have just washed my face with the papaya soap, and I always moisturize my face. I know it's good to moisturize your face. My face is generally really, really dry, like just in general most times dry so I put a little bit of the coconut oil on my face and then apply my makeup brilliant so after that will be my homemade mixture and that is my shea butter and I have a good bit left of it but it's it you know it still has a smell of shea butter that I am getting used to the more that I use it but yeah, I um I just added some um oils to it and then mixed it. This is actually the second batch because of the fact that the first batch, what I noticed was that I had it a tad bit too thick and I didn't want it too thin. But after I would wash my hair, it would just sit on there. So I went back and redid it and I added some more oil. And yeah, that's the finished product. My next thing is something that, again, again, everybody loves, but I found this to be more helpful than I actually thought it would be. And it's the Tansy Shea Butter Leave-In Conditioning Repair Cream. This stuff is my go-to leave-in conditioner, and I have, like, a lot of it left. A lot, lot, lot. I haven't used much because I try to switch up. I don't want my hair to get used to it. So I try to switch up, but I have so much of it left, like I noticed I try to change up when my hair was starting to lose moisture. So I would wash it, then put some of that on it, 
and then seal it. My hair was so soft. So yeah, that's my go-to, especially if you want to, you know, repair your ends. Very good. And last but not least, this is something new that I just had bought. And it is fingernail polish. And it is in the color Antique Rose. I don't know if you can see that. But it's in the color Antique Rose. And on here it looks kind of pink, but it's really not. It's like a it's like a pretty shimmery kind of um I don't want to say tan, but it's like a tan with a tad bit of pink in there. I really can't explain it, but it's really, really a pretty color. And I freaking love it. I've seen a lot of older ladies with this color on. And I love it. It's just really pretty on the nails. It's not too bright. You know, it goes basically with anything. So, I love it. So, yeah. Those are my number um, of... How many was that? That was four. I believe it was four. Um, but, yeah, those are my favorites. And um, let me know what your favorites are. Are I um, actually did this video because I saw Around the Clock Mom do hers and I felt inspired. So thank you Around the Clock Mom for inspiring me. And um, comment, rate, and or subscribe. Have a good day.